My name is Randall Swisher. I'm Executive Director of the American Wind Energy Association. I'm here today with representatives of some of the leading wind turbine manufacturers in the world to talk about the future of this amazing technology and also to call for an immediate extension of the wind energy production tax credit. Here are some of the highlights. The future horizons are, are truly limitless in terms of wind energy development in the U.S. We at GE believe that wind energy can be a significant source of new jobs going forward in the 21st century. Since 2002, we have invested over $700 million in wind technology. In that period of time, we have increased our production sixfold. We've increased our wind turbine assembly sites threefold. Wind plays a very key role in our portfolio. In terms of wind activities worldwide, beginning in 2005, Siemens has been one of the, if not the fastest growing wind company. We've been transforming ourselves from a middle-sized company to a global player. During this growth, we've maintained our technical and product quality leadership. In addition to onshore successes, we are an offshore leader in wind turbine technology. We have a strategic plan and it works. In terms of the market, the, uh, the wind industry has arrived. It's no longer simply a, a boutique industry, but in two th really from 2005 through 2007 was the number two source of new electric generation capacity, providing new energy to the U.S. electric grid. We actually have been the largest market for new wind turbines in the world for those last three years. And 2007 was really a blowout year for the industry with over 5,200 megawatts of new capacity worth about $9 billion, represented fully 30% of the new energy added to the, uh, to the grid here in the U.S., the new electric generating capacity. So enormous progress and a tremendous sense of dynamism within this industry. And we believe it's the, uh, it's, it's the world's greatest wind market. Um, we also believe that the American people uh, care about climate change, care about green-collar jobs, and want to be energy independent. And we believe so strongly what, in the American people and their desires that uh, we're willing to make a long-term commitment to this market. Hopefully, Congress will follow suit. We had an analysis that was prepared by Navigate Consulting that showed a loss of as many as 76,000 jobs related to the wind industry if the wind production tax credit is not extended. We strongly urge Congress to extend the PTC immediately to keep the U.S. as the world leader in wind energy production to end up continuing to increase renewables jobs in the United States so that we can have the enormous opportunity to grow green collar jobs in the U.S. So if we could take a long term run at the, the manufacturing, then we can help drive prices down, work on research development, do the things we need to do to create a robust market. In the end, the impact and importance of wind energy and other renewables to our future is underestimated. Climate change will become more evident competitive and stable electricity prices can be secured by wind energy. The symbolism that would be evident in the enactment of a long-term PTC would be quite clear and the message would be strong. For additional information on wind energy, please go to our website at awea.org.